what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and i know we're coming off a long break and all that good stuff man but i am back so first of all for all of you guys that left um, a message on that last video i did that last update for me telling you guys that i was going to take a break from everything i appreciate y'all i really do if you left uh, um, a comment over there if you like the comment over there if you sent well wishes whatever the situation is thank you guys so much but now i am back so f um let me give you guys an update on what's going on um well everything is kind of going back to normal now um she's home everything is cool and we're doing what um we're supposed to do to nurse her back to health now um it's just me it's just me um she literally has no family here in um in the u.s so it's just me having to take care of her but that's okay that's okay you know what i'm saying it's what i signed up for um when i'm in relationships it's you know what i'm saying i'm all in um, but he's yet to be seen if she's going to come out of the woods. Um, okay. But right now everything is okay. I can, uh, I'm in a better state of mind to come back and enjoy watching some anime or TV shows, whatever the situation is. Um, and it was tough. It was tough. It was a tough road to get here, but we are here. There's a lot of um, stressful situations, um, on my part, you know, um, I'm not a person that normally worries, you know, um, you know, I just hope for the best, extremely op optimistic person, you know, it just works. It just works for me, you know, um, so I don't tend to stress about dire situations. I just, you know, I just look towards the future. If it's going to get better, it will get better. If it doesn't, then it just doesn't. That's just how I deal with most of the things in my life, because I realize that some things are just going to happen. You know, life is not always going to be um, hunky dory and just flowing well. It's going to happen. And sometimes you do, you do need to take a step back and get back into the flow of things. So from what I can remember, um, with Haikyuu, we're in the middle of season two, we're going to be doing 13 and 14 today. Um, so from what I gather, um, or from what I can remember, I went back and watched a couple of episodes just to catch myself back up on the series, um, and to remember what was going on. So we're in the middle of the, um, the, uh, a tournament that we're heading into. Um, but you know, they just finished the training camp and, and all of that good stuff. We're having a couple of extra, um, I think they, they did one match, right? I think it, yeah, they did a couple of matches. Um, I think they're about to fit, do their second match or something of the sort. I think they did win their first match. I, um, I think it was against a team that was like really, um, out of sorts a bit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it was a team that tried to, to, um, they tried to, to do well at the end. Like he was like, you know, it was trying hard at the end, but there's no way they were going to beat Karasuna, right? They weren't going to beat him. So, uh, we're going to jump in. We're going to jump in, man. Um, I, I'm curious to see how they're going to carry on and how they're going to do in this tournament. This is the, the, um, the final tournament for the third years. Um, I don't know what they're going to do after this, if they're going to go play, you know, maybe go play for the national team or whatever the situation is, whatever is in store for those, um, was it three characters? Is it three characters or four characters? You have, uh, what's his name? Daichi, you have the captain, you have the, um, the ace, um, and there's somebody else. No, because, um, what's his name? Tanaka? Tanaka? I think it's Tanaka. I think he's a second year with, um, with, with Noya, right? With the Libero. They're second years. Um, so I think the 
the three the um and I know the manager is a third year, but I think there's another person on the team. Yes, um the the um the center the center I think it's sugar sugar <laughs> I think they call him sugar, right? They call him sugar. Uh, I don't remember is his full name but i know they call him sugar right so yes that's the three i'm trying to remember right so yeah so we're gonna jump in see what they have to offer thank you guys so much once again i will see you guys for the review All right, so that was episodes 13 and 14 of season two of Haikyuu. And I have to say, man, I'm really impressed with what the writer is doing. And I don't talk about this enough with this anime is what the writer is doing in terms of setting up certain things and how the anime is executing it. Because I'm pretty sure there were more, it was more lengthy, maybe or feel more lengthy, you know, reading the manga, but I'm glad that they're taking the time for the buildups. I love when anime do this. A lot of people, they hate it. They don't like slice of life episodes. Me personally, I love slice of life episodes. Slice of life episodes are usually in the category of fillers, but for me, as long as it moves the story along, fillers to me are totally different than a slice of life episode like in, in Naruto you had a lot of slice of life episodes where it was you know it moved the story along you get what I'm saying you want to know more about these characters you want to see what it's like on a regular day when they're not fighting someone right but some people they can't stand that they want they don't want no build up they don't want any lore they just want fights and to each his own is what I say I like when they show them training you know i like to to see that stuff you want to see that stuff because you don't want to them just I, I like when they have a build up and and then they execute it in a match you get what i'm saying even if they don't get it right during training they executed it in in a match and it's not to perfection but it still happens and it just brings it brings a certain kind of joy because you feel like you get immersed into the story so much where you feel like you're achieving what they're achieving. And that's the beauty of watching any media. You get what I'm saying? And that's the reason why I don't really consume stupid things. You get what I'm saying? Like when it comes on to media, uh, whether it be YouTube, whether it be TV shows, anime, whatever the situation is, I can't sit down and watch something that's not putting something constructive in my brain. I don't like doing it. Yes, you can watch you know, funny videos or whatever the situation is because you know what it's about. You know it's going to be funny and you're just watching it for to laugh, right? But like things that are just so nonsensical and doesn't make any sense or the story is just trash, I just can't tolerate it. You get what I'm saying? And I'm going to like not watch it. If it's something that I'm reacting to on the channel, it's a whole different because I'm going to trash the shit out of it if if that's the case and, you know, maybe finish out the season and never watch it again. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Um, but that is yet to happen on this channel. Um, so, but I enjoy these episodes, man, the build up, you know, the, 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 the rivalry that is being built up to be something that is very you know intense and you know these teams they're looking forward to playing each other because they've heard about each other you got these power players that always you know what i'm saying um and and none of them are disrespectful you get what i'm saying none of them are disrespectful they're all you know i'm very very surprised by that i think one of the things that um that is very unique about this anime and i think one of the the things that they don't tap into as yet as far as i'm just in season two so one of the things that i think that they could tap into is to really have a villainous team they've yet to show us a a, a villainous team a team that you know what i'm saying just completely just talk shit. they never give respect 
I think overall, so far, every team that Karasuna has played or we've heard of, you know, none of them has any villainous, villainous traits where we can be like, okay, your team is good. You talk straight trash all the time. You get what I'm saying? Even Ushijima, which I thought was going to be that kind of team, he doesn't really talk that much shit. Is more of out of respect. He knows what he is. They know they're good. And he just, he talks shit, but in a respectful way. Like, he's not trying to be like, yo, we're always going to be better than you. Your team is trash. Like, he gives respect where respect is due. Meanwhile, telling you, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm the shit. So, there's no animosity you get what i'm saying but you want that team that's gonna be like they're gonna talk shit and you beat them they get their heart broken and you know what i'm saying they still don't show no respect they just like walk off and be like we ain't bound to these niggas you know what i'm saying like that's i want to see a team that's like that i think even though this anime is extremely wholesome i still want to see something like that you know what i'm saying um so overall you know, we're getting into the first match of the qualifiers now. And I'm looking forward to this team that was, you know, kind of perving over, you know, Karasuna's manager and stuff like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? When a girl says they don't want to give you their number, why are you be like, oh, just let me put it in your phone real quick. Like, who the hell, who does that? Like, dude, come on, man. Come on, man. You, I already lost respect for you for doing that. You know, and then you're calling yourself the party team. The party team? Come on, man. You know, I, I know I know this is probably going to be because they're one of like the top schools because they got to the semifinals in the last in the inter high. So I know they're one of the top schools. So I'm not doubting their abilities. I'm just saying I've lost respect for them. I don't think Karasuno is gonna lose to this team, but it's going to be an interesting match nonetheless so anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in once again as i said man i am back i'm gonna put these episodes out as soon as i can um for you guys because i'm recording in advance of course um so thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all just don't forget to leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace